Apple have just announced the Creator Studio and in this video I'm going to tell you the 10 things you need to know about it to decide whether it's right for you. Let's go. Number one, the bundle. What is it? Apple Creator Studio is Apple's all new, all in one subscription for creators, bringing together professional apps for music, video, design, and presentations. It includes Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Pixelmator Pro, Motion Compressor, and Main Stage, and premium features for pages, keynote, numbers, and coming later, free form. So, yeah, it's your complete creative suite all in one subscription. But how much does it cost? Well, I'm glad you asked because number two is price and availability. This is a creator-focused subscription with free trials launching on January 29. It's going to start at $12.99 per month or $129.99 per year US. Educational pricing, though, is $2.99 per month and $29.99 per year. So if you're a student or a teacher, that's a pretty good deal. Regional pricing applies, of course. So if you're here in Australia or Canada or other places, <clears throat> you're going to pay a little bit extra. It's going to be available from January 29th via the App Store, a one-month free trial for everyone and a three-month free trial if you buy an eligible new Mac or iPad. Speaking of which, number three, Mac versus iPad. This is a true cross-platform subscription. So available on your Mac and iPad are Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and the new Pixelmator Pro. The Mac only apps are gonna be Motion, Compressor, and Made Stage, and Pages, Keynote, Numbers, well, they'll have enhancements across Mac, iPad, and iPhone. More on that a little later. Number four, can you still buy these apps once and use them forever? Or if you've already bought them, what will happen to your existing purchases? Well, never fear, Apple have confirmed that one-time purchases remain available on the Mac App Store for Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Pixel, Automator Pro Motion Compressor and Main Stage. The subscription does not remove your existing purchases. You can keep using them as long as you've already purchased them. Number five, what about iPad users that already have a Logic Pro for iPad or Final Cut Pro for iPad subscription? Well, Apple haven't been super specific about this, but it looks like you're going to be able to keep your existing subscriptions. Reading between the lines, you probably won't be able to individually subscribe to to these in the future, but if you already have them, it looks like you might be grandfathered in. There'll be more information coming in the future, so make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll make sure I let you know once we know for sure. Number six, is this a valuable bundle? Well, Apple's certainly positioning it as a high value creative suite. It's one subscription and it gives you pro level tools across music, video, graphics, and motion, deep integration across Mac OS and iPad. Pad OS. No tiers, no free trials, no cut down light versions. It's the full versions. And once again, you can do the one month free or the three months free if you get a new device. So it's a good opportunity for folks that maybe you haven't tried out these pro level apps. See if they're for you. And if they're not, guess what? Keep using GarageBand or iMovie. But this gives you a very affordable, and in this case free, way to actually check it out. Number seven, family sharing. Yes, this supports family sharing. So up to six family members can access the apps and all the included content. And that's pretty significant for a professional creative subscription. Check out some of your others, <clears throat> Adobe. They're not going to give you that level of flexibility. So if you're already in the Apple ecosystem for $12.99 or your local equivalent per month, it's a pretty good deal. Number eight, iWork Plus. Pages, keynote, numbers, they all remain free, but subscribers get a little bit more. Free users can still create and edit and collaborate, but if you subscribe, you're going to unlock premium templates, themes, a new content hub, advanced image creation and editing tools. Now, this does mean that some of those new features are no longer available to non-creator users, which may create a little bit of a divide. So for full disclosure, I'm not a huge fan of that, but we'll see what happens in the future. Maybe there'll be a separate tier of iWork that you can pay for just those features. But at the moment, it's more of a freemium style model when it comes to iWork apps. Number nine, I may have buried the lead here because Pixelmator Pro is coming 
to the iPad for the very first time. This is the standout new edition. It's got full Apple Pencil support, works across Mac and iPad, and gives you advanced selection and masking and layers and AI-powered tools and subscriber-exclusive features like the new Warp feature. So if, like me, you're a Canva user or maybe even a Photoshop user, having Pixelmator included in your Apple Creator Studio subscription, it could be a bit of a game changer and maybe even save you a little bit of coin. Number 10, who is Apple Creator Studio actually for? Well, Apple tell us it's built for creators who live on Mac and iPad. It's best suited for musicians, video creators, and visual storytellers. And guess what? I'm all three of those. Creators who want desktop top class tools on their iPad and people already invested in the Apple ecosystem. But I know what you're thinking. Number one, it's another subscription, isn't it? But yeah, it is. And guess what? It's a subscription that helps you create and not consume. And that's why I think it's a pretty good deal. And number two, you want to know, hey, Johns, what are the new features coming to Logic Pro? Well, I got good news for you on that front. And that is that I've got a complete overview of all of the new features that are coming to Logic Pro for iPad and for Mac. You can check out that video up the top there or down in the description right now. And while you're down there, let me know in the comments what you think of the new Apple Creator Studio subscription. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.